Rick Dollar with NetRadioDogs.com, and you are not, do not adjust your television set. That's Larry Sparks right there, folks. How are you, Larry? Doing fine, Rick. Doing, doing fine. Glad to have you sitting down with me, buddy. I've been waiting for about six months to talk to you. Well, uh, I appreciate you. Which is good. <laughs> appreciate you having me on, and uh, uh, heard all about this, so. Uh, yeah, well, I'm glad you did. That's 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 good coming from you. I like um, your last name pretty good. You, well, that, that's good, too. I hope. Yeah. <laughs> At least you remember me. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I guess the biggest question on my mind is, you know, you've done just about everything. Yeah. You know, you've played music for a long time. 52 years. With a whole lot of people, you yeah. know? Yes, I have. And, you know, um, uh, I've been blessed. Yes, you have. I've been blessed. Uh, people all across the United States, fans in foreign countries. Yeah. Japan is wonderful, you know? Been really blessed. We've been we've been very fortunate to uh, uh, be able to, to put the word out in, in a lot of foreign countries too. And Japan, um, the Czech Republic, Russia, a lot of these places, bluegrass music is just blowing up. Well, it is, and uh, uh, I, bluegrass could be really, I think, the next big fad. It could. I very well see that. Yes. It's been around too long, and uh, a lot of young people are coming yes, into this music, uh, and, uh, and I'm glad to see that. Yeah. I tell you what, when you can get primetime exposure with this with this music that you and I both love, mm -hmm. uh, that's a great thing. Yes, it you, is. You don't get that with everything. No, you don't. It's, so, uh, you know, it's, it's a long, hard ride in this, in this music, but you have to love it. Oh, you do? You know, you really do, to to stay in it and and, uh, and and you gotta make it work. Yes you do. When it don't work, you gotta make it work. That's right. And, and it's like anything else. But uh, and I've done that. Uh, you know, I've, I've went as far as bluegrass would allow me to go. Exactly. I've heard these stories about you. <laughs> I've went as far as, as You are a dedicated to man to your craft, I have said. And I'll go further if it'll let me. That's it. I'm ready, I'm excited now. <laughs> I can tell. I'm excited. <laughs> the hair is raising up. Over. Watch out! <laughs> well, the, I guess the uh, the biggest thing is, man, you've done all these things. Mm -hmm. What can the future possibly hold for you? Well, I, I, I hope that that I'll be able to stay in it, Rick. Oh, for, I'm sure you will. For many years and uh, yet to come. and. Um, you got, to, you got to take care of yourself. Take care of your health. Right. And that's the most important thing. Take right. care of your health. And uh, if you're going to be in it for the long run, that's right. Take care of yourself. And uh, the future, I, I, it's hard to say. You know, I, yeah, it is. It's just really hard to say. Uh, I'm not going to change. Uh, but I could probably stand a little improvement here. <laughs> I'd say it works. But I, I'm not going to change because, you know, what I do. Uh, I like what I do. Yeah, I like myself. Well, we can tell that you like what you do because you do it really good. I like myself. You know, whether anybody else does or not. <laughs> <laughs> but a lot of the songs, I, I do songs written that's uh, that are different. Yeah, know, and, and and my singing and playing is different, and uh, it, it's a style that I have created. Right. Come up with, but it's a, it's from feel. Exactly. It's, it's from your soul. It, and it comes out. Yeah, that's right. We talked about this today uh, with some more folks. Uh, there's certain people that that has that certain touch. Right. You know, they can't all, can't be duplicated. No, they can't. Mm -hmm. That's what music's all about. You know, I mean, I have certain songs that uh, doesn't really matter who's performing them or, or anything else, but I have songs that touch me inside and. I guess being in the radio business for as long as I was, I really got to get down deep inside of myself and find out what really makes me happy. Yeah. You know? Uh, you got to be happy with what you do first. That's right. Uh, before you're able to give it to me. Exactly. And make, connect with them. Yeah. Uh, that's the way I, I think. Uh, How many people do you think you've performed in front of your whole life? I would have no idea. Millions, I'm sure. Yes, I have. 
ever been. Over 52 years, I had these. My goodness. Yes, sir. Well, what in the world are you doing? I don't doing know where they're at. I don't know where they're at. Where are they at? <laughs> yeah. I'm glad they're not in here. I got you all to myself, man. So what are you doing at the second annual James Wimmer Bristol Bluegrass Festival? It's just wonderful. It is. It's I love it. Place. It's been a great thing. Yeah. We were here last year, and uh, the place was full. Yeah. The room here was full. It's a pretty good-sized room. Yeah. And uh, I haven't been out, you know, where it is today, but uh, it looks like it's pretty good crowd here today. Yeah, it, it has been. It's been, uh, it, at first, you know, I think everybody was tired from last night. I mean, I know I was. I was here forever. And, uh, man, waking up was tough this morning, you know, and I'm thinking, i got to get there by 9 o'clock yeah. or something. But, hey. Well, it's, it's a good thing, you know, they have this, and uh, it's a good area, too. Bristol is a great place for bluegrass. Yes. Uh, I think uh, East Tennessee, Southwest Virginia is just a hotbed. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. And I'm seeing more and more groups come from out of this area. Mm -hmm. So, uh, well, it's, got a, you know, it's got a good name, kind of, Bristol. Yes, it does. It sure does. And bluegrass and country music, yeah. So, what's the, the furthest you've gone to play a show? I mean, across the Big Pond? Or? Uh, the furthest I went was Japan. Wow. Yeah. Was now, there, where was that? Uh, it was in 19, uh, 1996. I went over for 10 days. So how'd you like that? I love it. Did you like food? It's a clean place and uh, and everything, you know, and they're good people and they love me over there. <laughs> there you go. That's the best reason to go. And I love them. I would go too if they loved me there. And I love them people. <laughs> The, the J Japan fans are wonderful. Yeah. And they really appreciate. They love this music. The music, and they appreciated Larry Sparks when I went over in 1996. That's good. Well, I'm sure they still do. And the places we played were just, you know, it was packed every night. It's right. Been, uh, uh, 10 days. And I uh, hope to go back someday. That's probably one of my favorite places a, I'd rather go back, you know. It would be a bad place to fly over and see every once in a while. Yeah. Right? So, uh, you liking what you're doing now, though, the, the number of dates that you're doing, or are you really just going to, you know, jump up and down one day and say, forget it, I'm doing this every day that I possibly can? Well, that's what I sort of think, yeah. You're ready, though, uh, aren't you? The business has, the bluegrass business has somewhat changed. It has. Uh, a lot of the old school guys are not doing much anymore, and some of them are not with us yeah, anymore. Yeah, and so the music has, uh, the business side of it has kind of changed. A lot of new people's come in. Right. And uh, so we're, we work you know, a lot. We work a lot of the larger festivals. Right. And we uh, do that, and it, it's good. You know, we can work pretty much regular. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's good to hear. Yeah. I mean, I like you're saying, uh, the trend in this business is the guys that, Really, to in my mind, that you would want to see aren't out there as much. But well, you're burning true. it at both ends. You're doing what you want to do, and that's the way to do it. We, we don't have any more, uh, you know, the Stanleys or mm -hmm. Flax Scruggs, Bill Monroe, and, and people like that, and yeah. Jimmy Martin, and all these people, you know, and some more other folks too. And, uh, missing some names, but <laughs> we don't have we don't have these no. people out with us no more. So, uh, my music is in the same, the same rim that right. that is, you see. But it's yeah. different. We all have a different twist. Yeah. You know, Bill Monroe, Jimmy Martin, Mac Wiseman, Stanley's, Larry Sparks. We all have a different way. I see that soulful turn to yeah. what you do, and I, maybe that's what attracts me to what you do. I like I like that, you know. And I'm sure a lot of people you like it. You say? Yeah. I did a good job fooling you. <laughs> oh my gosh! No, I, it's something that does come from your it, soul. That's your good. Heart. When I can do, when I feel it from my soul, my heart, and it touches me. Right. Then then you can happy. transfer that. Out. I'm happy. Yeah, that's it. Then I can go with it. I can run with it. Yeah, I expect to be around a long time. I hope I'm so. going to aggravate. I people. really do. I hope you aggravate me. I'm going to aggravate people I'm, everywhere. I hope you aggravate me every time I see you somewhere. It'll be all right. Man. My wife will say, who's that guy that keeps uh, throwing spit wads at you? That's Larry Sparks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I won't be around a long time. I, I feel like I, I, I will be here. Uh, I'm glad you're so excited about all of it. 
everything that's going to go on in your future. I am. And that's, well, that's great to see. 52 years I've been doing this. I started when I was in my teens with Stanley's and uh, had my old man since 1969. Yeah. And uh, the year I was born. Yeah. And that's, you know, that's a long time. I 47 guess, years uh, ago. Yes, sir. Wow. And, uh, you know, you go through changes. Yeah. Different uh, musicians. Yeah. And that happens. You, you have good men come in, good players, and, and uh, they have to play my music yeah. and, and play my songs and, and the, way, the way I do things. And, uh, and all of them pretty much has. Great. So who have you had but that's, they that's leave, gone on to be? They leave now and then, and they go, you know, they do some yeah. other stuff. And uh, some of them get a real job. <laughs> like what? <laughs> I think this is a real job myself. It is a job. If you do it and take care of it. If you do it the right way. It is a job. But uh, it's, I'm just blessed to be in the music, you know, because it's something I yeah. like to do. I could have went to other types of music, other, other styles, but uh, when uh, I remember, I heard and seen mm -hmm. uh, the music change from the big band era mm -hmm. into the Presley era. And wow. Rock and roll, fast domino, my favorite. That, that would have been a cool time to be alive. You know? Yeah, I, I was at 12 years old or so. Was what, did you th what did you think about all that? Well, I Go it, from you know. big band to Elvis. I remember the, that kind of music, and uh, but there's always uh, our music, you know, the right. country music was always there. Exactly. Ernest Tubb, the name one. Yeah. Uh, and the Stanley engineer. Brothers are very popular. Right. And and a lot of others, uh, Monroe and all that. But it was, it was there. But what uh, you know, the thing more popular was the big band music. You know, we heard that a lot. And it started going out when rock and roll come in, mm -hmm. you know, kind of, it didn't go out, but it just laid down, you know. Right. It's still there bit. today. Exactly. But uh, rock and roll took over. Yeah. You know. Well, but you guys stayed right there, man. Well, yeah. And, uh, yeah. It's constant. Yeah. That's, that's, the, that's what I think is so good about bluegrass and, and country music is it's constant. It yeah. may change a little here and mm -hmm. tweak a little there, mm -hmm. but still there. Yeah, and I, I kind of like what they did, you know, uh, the rock and roll. I seen it and heard it mm -hmm. change. I seen that and mm -hmm. heard it change in the 50s and you know, in the late 50s. And uh, I, I liked it and started, Mr. Kidd, you know, I, I liked it. And I, sure. I don't know, I started maybe playing a little bit of that music. And, uh, <laughs> And, and, now I like Fast Domino. Yeah, yeah. I, I still like. Him. Uh, he, he's awful good. You know. I bet you got some good vinyl around your house, don't you? Got a few. Oh my gosh, I can only imagine what your record collection looks like. They're all over the place, but <laughs> <laughs> but there's a lot of them. In the a attic. lot of good ones. <laughs> Up oh in the goodness. attic, but uh, but I wanted to do this music because you know sometimes you're called to do certain things. That's true. That is true. And, and I think I was called actually to do what I do. Well, that's, and is that, that is a great way to think about things because since we started what we do, um, you know, maybe we're just the piece in a puzzle to keep uh, this type of music and, and everything maybe out in the forefront. Maybe we need to push it a little bit more because here's what we're seeing. We went to a, a large show and uh, I'm not going to say who it was. But there was 14, 15, and 16 year old kids coming in the door. And I looked at my partner and I said, what is this? So I grabbed one of the kids. I said, are you, are you having a good time? And, and uh, oh, it's my birthday. And I'm here to see Dr. Ralph Stanley at 14 years yeah. old. That's good. Okay, now that, that showed me inside of me and in my heart that Man, we need to tell people about this because not only are we listening, you know, with our grandparents and people like that. I did that for a long time. My grandfather liked bluegrass. I'd be in the truck with him. I'd hear it. Oh, well, man, that's yeah. cool. Now I have an eight-year-old grandson that lives with me. Mm -hmm. And he can just about tell you who it is that I've put in the CD player. That's good. That's good. And, and that's uh, 
and if you know that little part of that and, and plus what we do here at Net Radio Dogs, if that's what it takes, mm -hmm. hey, sure. I'm glad to do it. Oh yeah, it's, uh, I mean I think it's a, a good thing. This music, uh, the, the older traditional style like, like I do. Right. Uh, with my own thing, you know. Right. But uh, it's uh, there's not many uh, left that's going to that I see right. that you know is going on with it. Uh, a lot of the uh, newer progressive bands right. are, are more younger bands coming in. Exactly. And that's that's okay. Yeah. But uh, we need to keep our tradition alive too. Yeah. Now we interview a lot of uh, younger bands, and people like that, but. Where you know, it come from? Yeah, the, the thing is, if it wasn't for guys like you and and a, a, a slew of others that I can't even name right now, I mean, uh, they wouldn't be doing it. That's right, and, and that's good, you know. But uh, myself, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing, mm -hmm. uh, and I'll get it right someday. But uh, <laughs> I can't believe you said that. He's going to get it right. Someday. Well, I've recorded certain songs three times, you know. I'm trying to get them right. Are you that rough on yourself in the studio? Oh, no, I bet. I just go in the studio, Rick, and when I record, <laughs> I have no words laid out. I know right. I've got I've got everything laid out. Right. What, what I'm going to do. All the all the band knows what we want to do. And uh, hey, we just go in there. The 50 album we did, we just gathered in a circle. Wow. At the Hilltop Studio in Nashville, it's kind of a circle, art right? and. Uh, and we all could see each other. That's good. And we could hear each other. Not one guy in one room and another right. guy in another booth. I like seeing each other. Well, well I think that's the best way to do it. You, you, play, you can yeah. connect. You gotta connect. And yeah. you play off of each other. Right. You know. And that's the best way to do it. And and uh, you get you get a better, cleaner feel. Yeah. A better feel than isolate yourself. You know, I think that, you know, in booths, exactly. you can be out with everybody, you know, seeing each other. Wow. Yeah. Does that make sense? More than you know. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm live. I'll tell you what, it's, uh, it's a joy just to sit here with you and, and get a little bit, just Thank a you. tiny, huge, Thank you. I mean, little piece of the knowledge that you have. And uh, I'm sure everybody that watches what we do is going to be ecstatic when this goes up. They're going to be very happy to, to see you. what you got to say. Now, Rick, where will, I, where will this be going to? I mean, where, where am Everywhere. I going? Our, Everywhere. Our website is hit by 20 countries across really? the world. No kidding. Yeah. So, don't worry. So I'm going to be they happy. are, but see, that's the I'm thing. They already know. Worry. You don't even understand. <laughs> they know who Larry Sparks is. I hope so. Oh, if don't, not, they will now. They right? will. Let me tell you. You know, uh, I like people. That'd be and when I'm at shows, uh, I have fans come up or, uh, to my table. Sure. And and they won't. Uh, maybe they don't buy nothing. That's okay. Yeah. It's one autograph. Ain't nothing wrong with that. They autograph. They just want to get close to Larry Spock. I'm there to to make them happy. That's right. From my heart. Did you know that's what I think uh, some? That's what I think some performers are missing. You know. They don't understand that, you know, you've been doing this 52 years, so you've got a lot of people that follow you. And by following you, I mean they watch everything you do, they listen to your music, yes. and whenever you're close to them, around them, or whatever, mm -hmm. they're there. They are, and you know, you know and when I, you know, sign autographs with people or, or talk to people, it's not because I feel like, well, this is good for business. Right. Well, I don't feel that way. Yeah. I talk to people and, and associate with people because I want to. Yeah. Well, and you know, but, you've got to be that way though in this business, yeah. man, because it's the, like you're saying about the way you feel with your music. You feel things for people and you yeah. know, I do too. Oh, yeah. come up to us and want to talk to us or yeah. whatever, yeah. but it's good because then you can find out, hey, am I doing okay? Mm -hmm. right. Is this what you want to hear? Yeah. They, they, you know? Uh, People are very, very uh, knowledgeable. They, in today's time, they know quality. They, they do. People know quality. They do. In any, anything, in music. But, uh, and, and that's good. 
That's good. That's it. Well, Larry, I'm going to let you go, but you've, uh, I want you to know that you've made my month, pretty much. Well, thank you, Rick. And, uh, I'm glad to be with yeah, you. Yeah, there's this one thing I was going to ask you about, and I probably should play it before you leave, though. Uh, this Hall of Fame thing, what, uh, what's this about? Yeah, what is this about? <laughs> <laughs> I'm setting you up, man. Tell me. Well, we had, uh, as a surprise to me, I didn't know anything about it. Oh. <laughs> IBMA. Oh, at the International Bluegrass Music Association. Yeah. Listen, they've done a lot of good for our music. Yes, they have. have. If you take out, if you take them out of what they've done, they would be an awful empty place. I'm telling you. We're uh, so glad to get to be associated with them. Yes, this year yes. and uh, to actually be there for four or five days and, yep. and, and learn more of what the business is about so that we can excel and do our job better. Uh, but uh, just looking forward to the very quality oriented people, mm -hmm. you know. We can all improve, I think, in, in what we do that's uh, to a certain point. And, and, uh, so that's, that's what I think we need to focus on is improving and getting this music out. Yeah, I think that's the key to it, because there's good, uh, I'll tell you, there's great musicians everywhere. I've seen some guys that'll just raise a hair up on the back of your neck, and you're thinking, boy, if nobody ever hears about this guy, well, he's not going to be any better than me yeah. trying to play a mandolin. Right. But, you know, it's it's the whole big piece to the puzzle. Uh -huh. We all got going to have to work together to that's keep right. this thing going, because if we don't, in 15 years, 20 years, we may not have it. We don't have it. Uh, we need to, you know, the traditional corner. Yeah. And that's where it come from. That's right. That's where it come from. That's what I am doing to hold it together and, and to keep the more traditional music alive. Right. See? I agree. And and it's okay. I, mean, I see it. Yeah. And uh, because who who do we have? Not many that do this. many. And, uh, you don't carry the torch. Man. So I've got the torch ready, and uh, I'm, I'm proud to carry it. I'm know, glad you are. As long as I can. And uh, But about the Hall of Fame, um, they had called me back in October, I think it was, and uh, they called me from Nashville and, and told me about it. I, I didn't know about it. And, and I was out in the garden, working in the garden. And they called me and, uh, and told me that uh, about the Hall of Fame thing, I was going to be, I was going to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. Wow! So um, I had a little bucket of beans and dropped all them, <laughs> and I picked them back up again. But your wife said, "Pick them up." Tomatoes and everything, dropped everything. <laughs> but uh, and I, that was a surprise to That's me. That's good. And I, I was really, you know, I felt really blessed. They called yeah. me and told me that. Um, so we went to uh, Raleigh, North Carolina, yeah. and the IBMA Association inducted me into the Bluegrass Music Hall of Fame in, in Raleigh, North Carolina. And the actual Hall of Fame is in Owensboro, Kentucky. Oh, really? Yeah, the, that's where it will be at. That's where okay. the Hall of Fame is. And uh, so that's... Uh, so when is this going to... Uh, when, is, when is this going to actually take shape and make you a different guy? Well, in June, they have the rock festival. It's not, is it? You're always going to be Larry Sparks. Yes, I'll always be who I am, you know. And uh, I'm in the Hall of Fame. How do I get out? You don't. There's no <laughs> keys. <laughs> well, I, I accepted it very proudly. You, know? you should. I, I mean, you're very honored, a, very honored to have. A very deserving person. And there's, uh, it's not just talent. It's the way you handled yourself over the years. Yeah. Well, uh, I think things like that are things that we need to think about. You have to uh, look at yourself as an individual and right. as a person, and uh, you know you, you gotta learn. You, you have to learn how to walk. You do. You, know, you do. You that's what I see. That's that's not happening with a lot of guys these days. And they're not. They're they're. Hey, I'm a great musician, and everybody likes me, but their personal life stinks. Yeah, you got to learn how to walk in with people and yourself, too. Right. Very I important. agree. Very important. I agree. And, uh, and you know, I, I'm just the type of person I like to treat people right, you know. And be nice well, you sit down with me, I mean, hey. You well, know. We, we, we was in a bind. It couldn't help us. Yeah. <laughs>
I, I've enjoyed being with you and talking to you, Rick. Well, Sorry. what what kind of new stuff are you going to come out with? You can, when are you going to put another record out? Uh, well, actually, I've got a one from 35 years ago in a studio, right. putting that out. And it's uh, I had uh, Joe Meadows on fiddle, right? Joe Meadows, you probably know him, right? And uh, he's passed away now. And uh, a young Scott Nestle. Wow. Okay. And Tom Boyd and uh, Wendell Bartley. Yeah. And uh, he's probably familiar Just with think, them. man, uh, I'd, I'd like to be a fly on the wall, <laughs> and, uh, you know, see that. But we're putting that out in uh, probably a couple, three months, run a little bit late on it. Right. The next project I'm working on, uh, the bigger project for 2017. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. and can, you, can you use Squeeze out a secret or two about I that. I don't know yet. It's just now, just now, just now gelling. Huh? Just now coming together. Yeah. Good. And uh, I don't know. I, I want to feature new songs. Just let me know, and man. we'll we'll push it, and I'll put it out there. I'll I'll be happy to be able to let somebody know about your new music. New songs and a touch of the old ones. That's good. You know, fresh new songs. Fresh. That's never been heard before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he looks at me like I never thought I'd sit down with you and you'd be laughing with me. You know? But I'm glad. Appreciate it. you have me on, man. I appreciate it. Well, glad, Larry, glad to be with you. I'll tell you what, it's an honor. Thank Just you, shake your hand, Thank and you, I sir. appreciate you so much. Thank you, sir. Okay. Appreciate it. Thank you. That radiodogs.com. You're with Rick Dollar and uh, this guy right here, Larry Sparks.